From your local election headquarters, we continue tracking developments in the signature scandal swirling around the Sabina Matos campaign for Congress. Target 12 investigators have learned the state police are now involved. 12 News reporter Joe Cortez joining us now looking ahead to more potential developments in the day ahead. Joe. Patrick K. Today, the Rhode Island Board of Elections is expected to make a major decision on the future of Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos' campaign for Congress. Now, this comes as Target 12 discovered the scandal has now spread to the East Providence City Council. Target 12 reports the entire council had their names and addresses forged on Matos' nomination papers. So far, the allegations have focused on one former campaign worker, Holly McLaren, but the East Providence nomination papers were submitted by a different campaign worker by the name of Shauna Gallagher. The Matos campaign has refused multiple requests for an interview. Instead, her office has sent out a series of statements. Campaign manager Brexton Isaacs said Thursday the campaign is, quote, disappointed and angry to learn of reports that inaccurate signatures were submitted to the campaign. But he insists the problem wouldn't prevent Matos from getting her name on the September 5th primary ballot. Matos is one of 13 Democrats competing to replace former Congressman David Cicilline. Now, by law, the Board of Elections has to make a decision today and coming up in about 10 minutes, Target 12's Eli Sherman will join us with reactions from the Secretary of State about why this controversy shows the process works. For now, live in studio, Joe Cortez, 12 News. 12 News is your local election headquarters. This morning we're discussing new developments swirling around the Sabina Matos campaign. Target 12 learning the alleged forged signatures have now spread to the East Providence City Council. A Board of Elections hearing expected later today. 12 News reporter Joe Cortez joins us live in studio. Joe, what can you tell us about the investigation right now? Well, Patrick K. State Police Colonel Darnell Weaver told Target 12 investigators the agency is now involved in the criminal probe. They'll be looking into the nomination papers submitted on behalf of Matos across multiple communities, but all eyes today will be on the Rhode Island Board of Elections. That hearing is scheduled for 2 p.m. Attorney General Peter Narona said by law, the BOE has to make a decision today. Now, Target 12 has interviewed more people who said they are victims of fraudulent signatures in Barrington and East Providence, including all five East Providence city councilors. The scandal has focused on one former campaign worker, but the East Providence nomination papers were submitted by a different campaign worker. Her name is Shauna Gallagher. Jamestown and Newport election officials have already referred allegations of forged documents to law enforcement. And Target 12 has reached out to everyone involved in these allegations. The only response has been through written statements from the lieutenant governor's office. To view all of Target 12's findings, just head over to our website, WPRI.com. Live in studio, Joe Cortez, 12 News.